Well, Black Ops 5 is around the corner, and I think we need to talk about just what things they should include, what things they should maybe not include for Black Ops 5, which they can learn from Black Ops 4. Which we all know, Black Ops 4 was uh, not a great game in my opinion. It was very clunky all around. Their interface system was just very weird, and I don't know why they did this to us. The interface system, for example, was just not something that we all expected. Now, was it? It was a very clunky system where there was some circles and some stuff around which we had no idea why it was there the gobble gum system which i think you know what i'm referencing there was just so much stuff where i couldn't observe the map it was like where do i get the parts because this thing was holding me down essentially which i'm referring to the interface system again uh, i never really understood why they put the interface system in uh, previously it was very basic it was you get this little wave icon you get this little ammo indicator and that's essentially it for the most part for Black Ops 2 and Black Ops 1. When Black Ops 3 came around, they included little bits of detail, but it was not much where it would impede your vision, right? This is sort of the problem with Black Ops 4 that I think Treyarch needs to kind of perhaps uh, learn <laughs> is not to impede our vision and not to ruin the overall experience experiences when we're looking at a map, right? And that means not having an insane UI, an insane interface system. I feel when they do that, they ruin our, our experiences, our fun, right? Um, how am I gonna be able to look at where to find parts if there's gonna be this impeding thing in the screen? You know, it just doesn't make sense. In fact, there's no option to turn it off, and I thought there was maybe in the, um, in maybe the control settings or just the graphics area, but it wasn't there, and it was very weird. I think another thing that they could have improved on was possibly, I don't know, putting more maps, putting some more classics. Uh, there was only around, I think, to be specific, there was only eight maps in sh in total for Black Ops 4. I could be wrong on that, uh, which was kind of why I was stumbling my words there, but I think there's only eight maps. And that's a bit weird when you think about it. There's only, I think, Tagged or Totem, Dead of the Night, uh, Nine, Alpha Omega, Classified, Ancient Evil, Voyage of Despair, and Blood of the Dead, from what I remember. That's not a lot. Compared to Black Ops 3, Black Ops 2, I think there was at least more than that, right? You had the classic maps that were remastered, and you had even new maps. Grode Krovi was one in Black Ops 3 that was new. Yeah, Shadows of Evil, and then they had that whole remaster, and they did this even with Black Ops 1, uh, which is very weird. And they it felt as if they cheapened the experience, which kind of sucked. I believe uh, behind the scenes they didn't have much time. I think Treyarch actually had to deal a lot more with the Battle Royale battle royale system in the multiplayer which kind of sucks because no one really plays them those modes anymore mostly players play for the zombies ex zombies experience because it's very fun and i feel they could bring back a lot of players if they were to just fix these things that we were just talking about a while back like the interface system including classic weapons not making it really futuristic i think if they tone that down a little bit more i think a lot of people enjoyed their experiences right a lot of people enjoyed black ops 1 for one reason it was very simple so maybe include the teleporter and make it simple instead of just doing this six piece thing, right? Like transit, like, oh my goodness. Like, oh, you know, transit would have been a great map. It really would if you just made it very simple for getting the uh, pack-a-punch machine. But uh, they kind of had to ruin that one, didn't they? Well, yeah, that was, uh, that was something. I think another thing that they could have done to sort of help out um, us would be maybe to include... I don't know, like, maybe just not even include, but exclude the whole gobblegum machine. I don't feel a lot of people use those, right? I think it was a great addition in Black Ops 3, but in Black Ops 4, the way it was integrated was just awful, right? They had a whole, uh, apparently it was even, like, uh, all included in the screen. So this was one of the complaints I had even for the interface system, was the gobblegums were actually on the screen. And it was, like, too much, like, room there, honestly. So if they toned that down a bit, maybe they were to just get rid of the image where it says 4, 3, 2, and 1. Um, I'm on PC, so that's what I see. It could be, like, different buttons to represent that. But that would be something that I would recommend to Treyarch to kind of just maybe get rid of or just make it smaller. Uh, because, again, <laughs> the whole UI thing is just insane. The amount of stuff you have to do on there. I think another thing was maybe include more mystery guns 
or wonder weapons i should say that'd be great to have maybe um not like a scorpion would be wonderful maybe make it look like a something you would expect when you get it out of box right i i don't know oh yeah and maybe let the mystery box resume like it looked like with the little question mark on a box instead of this weird little skeleton i it was very weird the way i'll compare it actually on screen here it was very weird the way they did that uh, did it it was it was um let's just say they kind of massacred my boy so that was not good i think overall black ops 4 was kind of a horrible experience for us i think there's some redeeming qualities i think there were some great maps like but of the dead or classified or alpha omega i think those were great but i think overall we can learn a lot from black ops 4 and we're hoping that in black ops 5 when it comes out there's gonna be a lot more that that will be uh included or excluded that could help out with our fun experience so again this was a little video not what i think personally treyarch or whoever's managing the game now on what they can do better i feel if they include those sort of tidbits of details or just maybe even just looked into one of these details i i think the game could be a whole lot better because we want treyarch to su succeed i mean they've done amazing games in the past they're excellent developers they know what they're doing but i feel that um if they just learn from these mistakes i feel we can have a great game and I, I think that's what we all hope for. So that's going to be it for this video. If you want to be sure to subscribe or follow my Twitch, uh, be sure to do that. That'd be great. Or just subscribe on the YouTube. Uh, either ors would be wonderful. I'll see you guys probably in a little bit. These videos are not, uh, they're not, uh, you know, I don't do these every day. So unfortunately, these will probably be once a month. I, I got to figure out when uh, exactly I can do a video because time is uh, very precious, unfortunately, these days because I got school and I got a work day so or work week Ooh, i can't even speak but i meant a job for all of you laymans there so i'll see you guys in a bit my name is mr stormcrow or mcnick and i will see you guys later peace out